Okay, it's been a really, really long time since I've made a My Collection video. Um, so it's changed quite a bit since then. So we'll have to go through all of this and everything that's up in the system. Um, so let's get started. First up, one of my most favorite devices I have is this heat detector that I got uh, one time working in the field. Um, got damaged by something, somehow, some way. The way it got damaged, it, it, it didn't cause a um, false alarm uh, in that situation. So, so we replaced it and prevented that from happening again. But um, it was kind of crazy. You can tell that the, the, the cap's gone and missing and it got damaged pretty darn well. For this being metal, you know, it's kind of crazy. So uh, very interesting, but this is one of my favorite little things I have. Now, over here, I have a Simplex. This is a, a, an ID.net uh, smoke detector head and base. The reason I have this is because we had to pull it from something. Um, it was returning a an excessively dirty, which is, is basically meaning it needs to be replaced. Um, this one was acting up quite a bit. So I, I just kind of have it just because I like Simplex. And that's okay. Now here's an alarm you haven't seen yet. I have a system sensor i3. Well, I haven't seen it. I don't have a conventional panel. This is brand new and I have no idea what to do with it yet. I paid a decent amount of money for it. I kind of don't want to sell it and, and risk having less money back from it. But at the same time, it's brand new. So you guys let me know in the comments what I should do with this. Because I really don't know. Now pull stations. I've got a bunch of them. We have the Edwards, not EST, just Edwards 270 SPO. We have a notifier, um, what was originally an NBG12 LX, is now just a BG12 NBG12 L, because I removed the module to make it conventional, because um, the module was bad anyway. I have a, this is also a notifier BG10. Just a regular one with the screw, um, which I don't even have a screw in it right now. You can see it doesn't have a lock. Then I have a Notifier BG10L. Um, I think this was my first alarm I ever got. I don't remember if it was Firelight or Notifier, but I have another, I think I have a third one of these somewhere. Because um, I have alarms all over the place. Now, uh, we've got a Simplex key switch, uh, test switch, that I'm trying to decide how to utilize in the system or if I can utilize it in the system that I have up right now. Um, this is a Firelight BG-8, um, which is in really, really good condition. I don't remember where I got this one, um, but it's still in really good condition. It's like almost brand new. Uh, the FCI MS-2. And, I'm sorry, this is the MS-6, this is the MS-2, um, which I've done a video on just recently if you want to check that out in more detail. This one, this one hasn't been out lately, I don't think, if I'm not mistaken, so maybe I'll have to get the MS-6 out again. And guys, when I was organizing the alarms to make them look good for the video, I realized how many Wheelock devices I didn't realize I had. I have a Wheelock mini horn, um, the Miz 24. I have a multi Candela RSS strobe. I have, um, I forget the model number of this one. Please don't fall. Okay, it did. <laughs> um, here you go. I, I forget which series this is, but it's like their current one right now. Minus their LEDs. So, you look at that. Tell me, tell me where I'm being stupid, because I'm not reading things clearly, apparently. I feel like it has a name, <laughs> and I just can't remember it. I've got a ZNS. I have a white AS um, with fire marking on it, and a red AS also with fire marking on it. And I have the Wheelock NH. So, I'll try to 
make these look decent again. Okay, that'll work. Those are all my Wheelock devices I have. Um, then I've got System Sensor, which I don't have as many as I thought I did. Um, although somewhere I have, I just realized I have a horn strobe of the classic. I think that's upstairs, probably in my room, because I, I, I used it as a demonstration for a project. Um, but I've got this really old, really dirty uh, System Sensor mini horn. It's also missing a screw, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. I need to get another screw for it. But, uh, it may have seen better days before. <laughs> so, there's this guy. We've got the brand new P2RL. The Remote Strobe Classic. Again, I have a horn strobe version of this. And the Low Frequency Sounder. Which I don't have a uh, Spectral Alert Advance yet, so that's unfortunate. Now I got a bunch of simplex stuff. <laughs> this is just another cover that I purchased separately because I originally purchased this alarm with a white cover. This is a um, simplex, what's that model number? 4903-9432. It's selectable via, you know, to switch for smart sync or free run operation. Um, I normally just use it in free run. Um, with the panel, I just had the panel code it, which worked fine. Um, you guys know from my previous videos now I have SmartSync only versions of these that I use in the system. They're still up in the system right now. But I did get a red cover for this one as well, which won't fit over it very nice while it's wearing with a white cover. I've had two um, older Simplex 4903s. This one is the 4903-9236. Which I believe this is the higher pitched electro mechanical horn. Almost sounds like a true alert. Some weird mix between the old 4903s and the newer true alerts. And we got this one. This is the older, more mechanical horn. Which is 4903 9217 and has that lower pitch, you know, brrr sound. And we got this one. This is one I haven't shown in a video yet. This is one I actually haven't even played with yet myself because when I first got it, I um, wasn't able to put it up and I was in the midst of changing the system from used to be right here on the wall to the other room. So this one hasn't been used yet, but this is 4901-9805 for the horn. Oh, darn it. And the light plate. These aren't screwed together right now. The light plate apparently doesn't have a model number. I thought it did. I thought I had a separate one, but I'm apparently wrong. So, there's that one, which I will have to do a video on soon because it hasn't been seen yet. In fact, these guys haven't been seen yet either. Um, maybe the red one has, I don't think the white one has. Over here, we've got the Gentex group. Um, it's not very interesting to be honest with you. I have two Commander 2s and a Commander 3 remote strobe. So, yay Gentex, I guess? I don't know. That, that's, that's all I got. But, um, I've only got one mounting plate for them, so I can't even put them all in one system without jury rigging something, which is no fun. So, with that, I have my EST. Uh, line of devices. I think this one is branded as EST. Uh, I thought. I guess I'm wrong. I don't see it on here. I don't see it branded as anything. But I thought it was an EST uh, branded one. This is just a remote strobe. There's no horn in it as you can probably see the circuit board right through the grills there. Um, and it doesn't have the fire marking here. It's got it here for a double gain. Uh, back box. This one I'm going to be very careful with. It's an Edwards speaker strobe. Um, and well, it it's not very interesting. I can't get it to do too much. I, I did something with it in the voice back video. You can check out up there. But it uh, it could be better. So there's this one. I don't know what to do with it yet, but it's just a speaker strobe. 
I had two of them. I don't remember what I did with the other one, to be honest. So, I again, I always have alarms all over the place. Then we got this guy. Space Age Electronics. Uh, the horn is... Sorry that the light's bad. That's probably the best I can do. Is a uh, 2DCD. So it's a 24VDC it's a horn. And the light plate is... Looks like the Maz 01752. That's just Massachusetts, never mind. Do they have a model number here? Yes, 475N. That's Massachusetts, so ignore that. So there's that. Um, I have another control module, which I have one up in the uh, system already. This is just a Firelight. Uh, CMF 300, which is nice to have around, but uh, nothing too interesting. Uh, up here, we also have what was a um, supposed to be a relay box, but when I when I got it, I was like, oh cool, a little relay I could use to mess around with. Um, the electronics are gone. It's just a, a, a metal junction box. So I haven't decided if I have any practical purpose for that yet, but that's okay. And then I have a switch. Um, and this box actually doesn't seem, it, it's got a different picture on it than what's actually in here. What I have in here is this key switch. This is, I believe, brand new. I don't think it was used yet. Um, takes a shark key. I believe the key number is 135, um, if that means anything to anyone. So I, I'm trying to figure out how to play with this and the simplex key switch to figure out how to uh, get them to do something fun here. So I haven't decided yet. So that's everything that I have in the closet. Now let's go into uh, the system just so I can show everything there too. All right, we've got my favorite thing down here in this room, and that's the water heater is running nice and loud, so I will talk loudly over it. Right above it, we have the similar heat detector that I showed you that was all damaged. This one is not, it does have a dent in it, but that's from me being dumb and dropping it at one point. Um, this is just a conventional heat detector. It does do rate of rise, but I don't think it will with the panel, so. Um, it's not with a mini mod anyway, but it will be able to still trip if that disc breaks off. As you know, we follow the wire. I have a simplex smart sync module here. Um, the model number I put in some other video, it's not too interesting. Um, this is one of two Simplex Smart Sync only uh, horn strobes, and I put the model number in that other video as well, so just go check that out up there, because I don't remember the model numbers off the top of my head, I'm going to be honest with you. Down here, we have another Firelight, um, just a control module, it's not hooked up to anything, it's really just being used as a junction box, um, so not too interesting there. In here, we have the panel, the 9200 UDLS, um, sorry, MS9200 UDLS, Firelight, it's Rev2, doesn't have the terminal blocks that nicely pop off, unfortunately. So this is what we got, but that's okay. Um, but this cabinet is all brand new, uh, it's just the panel was used and had one issue with it, but that's that's fine, it's been resolved, so it works perfectly. Down here, I, I'm i sorry, I, I, I know somebody commented on my last video and corrected me about my Pulse Station model numbers, and thank you to him for that, um, but I, I already forget. So this is just an older uh, Simplex T-Bar. It's got the slanted angle. I don't want to pull it because the horns are hooked up right now, I don't want to scare the heck out of myself. So it's got the slanted angle back there. It's definitely an older one. Um, obviously just conventional, tied to a mini mod. 
So that's nice. All the way over here, that's just a regular house smoke detector that's boring. We don't care about those. We care about real smoke detectors. Like this one. The Firelight uh, SD355. So this one is, is always on and monitoring for smoke. So hopefully it doesn't go off and scare the heck out of me. Because that'd be fun. So we got that one. We have another one of these Simplex Smart Sync Only True Alerts and the newer style Pulse Station, which I also, again, don't remember. Model number four off the top of my head. I've got a bunch of paintings I intended to move out of there before I shot another video because, okay, but that's fine. So that basically is the collection of stuff. I do have more uh, mini modules down here that are ready to go. I just don't have anything to put on them yet. But that's what I could use to maybe um, put a key switch somewhere around here. I was thinking maybe if I did a key switch, I'd tap into the SLC right up here and do it there. Um, and I, I might, you know, have it be either like a reset switch or a drill switch or something. I haven't decided. Um, unfortunately, I don't have any smoke detectors that are remote testable. Uh, there was a... Um, oh, how come I can't remember? Gamewell, jeez. Gamewell FCI one I had that was similar, but it doesn't work with the firelight panels, so that's too bad. And finally, I do have one more device, and that is what you saw on Monday's video, which is the system sensor, sounder base. Um, so very cool. That is basically everything, guys. If you have any questions about my system or want to correct me with my model numbers, please do, because there's a good chance I messed some up. Just a quick, or not a quick video, this is a long video, but I have a lot of devices and I'm thrilled and it's still growing. So let's keep it that way. There will be more videos out later this week and thanks for watching.